Welcome back, everyone. Episode 8 on Corby. Um, okay, so a few things. I cleared up a lot more wood. Um, been at our little peninsula quite a bit more. I've sold uh, one load, and I'm going to sell the second load. And I saw something in the shop that is... Um, uh, used equipment sale that I think I need to jump on and uh, so we're heading there now I'm gonna sell this and then we're gonna pick that up and then we've got some interesting stuff to do in this episode that's for sure um, I did a little shopping while I was uh, working on all those trees I found that the stump grinder was too slow um it took me forever to get a whole bunch of stumps taken care of so i went ahead and sold uh, the stump grinder and i bought the tree be gone mini uh which is a tree mulcher um but it works a lot faster than the other one oh i gotta be careful here so Actually, I don't really have to slow down, do I? Just have to watch out, not to spin out. Okay. So, what did I see in the used equipment sale? It's a downgrade on my tractor, but also an upgrade. And I'll explain why. I'll show you in a second. Let me just get this sold here. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Well then. Let's sell the wood. Okay. Alright, will we get be lucky and be able to turn this up? Yeah. <laughs> That's not quite right. So that was 14,240. Um, we're going to head down to the shop and switch some equipment around uh let's throw this over here i'm not getting rid of this trailer i i really need this trailer detach okay there we go before i go and sell this i want to make sure that what we're getting is still there so uh power off um, let's have a look. There it is. It is a lizard tractor, and um, it's a lot more powerful than what I have. And it's roughly the same speed, a little less functionality, but that's okay because we're going to be doing mostly forestry and i don't need a lot of the fancy stuff that i would normally need for animals or um arable farming or whatever so let's talk more action before it disappears i don't want to get trapped let's repaint that what are we going to get for this Seventy-four thousand for this so that's one of the reasons i want to pick this up besides getting more power we uh, will also get some money back in our pocket. So I'm going to make a couple of minor changes to this. Um, what did I want? I wanted uh, a lot more lighting, and I think you might know why. And our attachers, I want to get a three-point on the back. And a color, uh, let's go for a bright orange. How's that? So that's going to be 29,000. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. It's going to be 230. I don't need more, much more horsepower yet, but when I need it, I'll be able to go get it with just an upgrade. Just to check while we're here, that upgrade is 10,000 to take us to 360 horsepower. And I won't do it now because uh, I do need the money. So let's do it. Yeah, kind of just dropped out of the sky there, didn't it? 
So it's a more, I want to say, basic tractor, I guess. Um, but much more powerful. Which would be good for forestry. Oh boy. The manual transmission, so I'm gonna have to be uh, working the gears a bit more. It goes all right, though. Still struggles up this hill, but you know, part of that is the snow, I think. Yeah, it's March and the weather is changing. I think we're gonna lose the snow soon. I did a lot of tree clearing. There we go. I think that hill's gonna be a problem for even 500 horsepower. There we go. I think it kind of struggles a little bit in the mid-range. Pretty basic stuff, huh? Good old trusty lizard brand. I'll come around and have a look and see what we've done. Uh, we have a fair amount of product and I have another problem now. Um, that problem is I don't have a very big trailer. Whoa lighting a bit we're hauling all of my manufactured products here so let's have a look all right let's just jump out for a second uh so yeah we've got some wood chips and um we've got fifty-eight thousand in there uh it holds quite a bit I did fill it up completely. And here we go. We got some planks. Um, these are... Oh, those are planks. These are long planks. And we've got some beams. Wood beams and prefab walls. Now, there's a couple of problems. Uh, first problem is... Uh, I also have all this, right? So... Um, this trailer is not very big, so I need to need to do something about that, but I do need to use it now, uh, cause that's all I have. But I can't afford to buy a completely new trailer right now because I have the money I need to buy the next piece of land that I want, I think. So let's do that right away. All right, so we got this. We want this. It is 69.3. We have 69.7. So we're going to be pretty broke, but let's just do it. Let's do it. All right. As you can see, I did clear quite a bit. Here's my new Tree Be Gone Mini. This cost 22000 Um, And I funded it from the sale of some wood. But... I hit my limit here as to what our property used to be, which is the line was right here. And I cleared out most of it. There's probably a bit more I can clear out on the side here. I did want to leave a line of trees around. So there's a couple here that I, big ones I can take down that are, but, but I want to keep working this way. And look at this brush. Now I got to go mow again. Haha. <laughs> Um, but at the very least, there's a lot of trees here, and then we open up into a field. And so we've got some room here. Uh, now part of that up there belongs to us, and big chunk of that belongs to us. So once we're done with this wood here, uh, we'll be able to progress up there. And I think there's a, yeah, there's a bridge over there that takes us, um, 
up from this side and cross over there because otherwise I don't think you can get up there. I think that's the only way onto that plateau up there. So yeah, exciting. Very exciting. All right. Uh, what's next? So now I need to go sell stuff. Which means I gotta load up that small trailer and I'm probably gonna have to take a couple of trips. Uh, we're gonna need this to load, load it up. And this will actually completely delete trees. Whoa, that's slippery. Um, which I gotta be careful. I don't wanna delete trees. <laughs> I just wanna get rid of stumps, so. While I was getting rid of some of the stumps, I accidentally cut down two other trees that were too close. Uh, when I released, um, I lurched forward and cut, <laughs> cut them down, so big mistake. Okay, so the other problem I have, and this is a kind of a big problem, is let's have a look. Um, if we go down to the manufactured products, um, where are we? Where are we? Okay, so planks I can sell at the store. Uh, no problem. Price is down, but that's okay. We'll, we'll sell anyway. Uh, furniture I can sell at the store. Not a problem. Uh, I can do that, and it's on its way up. The problem comes in with my new, um, I guess it's the Platinum Edition, um, Platinum Edition? Platinum Expansion? I forget. Anyways, um, some of the products, the long planks, no selling point available. Prefab wall, no selling point available. Wood beams, same thing. Um, so I need to figure out how to get a selling point. It was a cheap and easy way to do it. Uh, I don't really like it, uh, just because of the flavor of the, you know, it's just a, a sell point that you drop on the ground anywhere. It's not even a building or anything. Feels kind of lame to me, but, uh, uh, okay. So, I need... Uh, um, hmm. This is not very powerful for hauling stuff. But it might do. I could take the big tractor, but I like, you know, this is actually faster if it can manage to pull stuff. Actually, I don't even know if this works. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's drive over. And we'll try to figure out, I guess planks is the only thing I can, planks and furniture are the only things I can really sell. So, uh, may as well grab the ones that are at the front because the furniture is there as well. Okay. Uh, the question is, what am I going to load up? Um, oh, it's going to be tricky lining things up when it's deep in the snow. I have to guess a bit. Oh, I can get four at a time. Sweet risky but I wonder if that'll fit width wise let's go really slowly I want to start at the back Is this going to fit? Yes, it is going to fit. Awesome. 
Am I far enough over? Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I definitely want to get the furniture pallet on there. I should probably check to see if there's more furniture down below. So let's load up four more. Oh boy. Okay, I see a problem here. Okay, I'm going to load these at the front, I guess. See the problem? <laughs> I should have loaded from the front right from the start. Okay, let's start with this. They're not letting go for some reason. Okay, I've got two of them to let go. There we go. You need to let go now. There we go. Okay, uh, what's going to happen if I disconnect this? Because I'm going to get the tractor. Okay, we're good. Oh, very sliding. Why does my temperature gauge keep going on? Okay, I'm going to leave that running, let it warm up. Okay, now I'm going to go see if we've got some more furniture for sale. Ooh, that water looks frigid. I'm just going to shove these out of the way. I want to see if we have a furniture pallet. That's all I really want right now. Whoops. Whoa, that's not how you shove. Do we have furniture? No, we got more wood. Oops, did not do that well. Okay, what else we got in here? We're just short of furniture. All right. So I'm going to grab up four more wood pallets. We're going to go sell those. And then I'm not quite sure um, the sell points that I can get to be able to sell my wood products. Um, there's only really three options, I think. One is super cheap. It's just a trigger that you put on the ground. And there we go. Uh, I hope this fits in there without any problems. We're going to put the, uh, the one furniture pallet on top. I think this is going to be a problem.
Nice. Okay, that should be good enough. Get our one furniture pallet. Yeah, as I was saying, there's really three options. Uh, one is our trusty everything container. A sell it, sell anything container. Um, use that a lot on Pioneer Map. And then the other one is an actual uh, market, wholesale market. I'll show you right now. Let's have a look. So if we got into selling points and platinum edition, there's this here, which we can sell all our products from Silver Run. Um, so no problem there, but that's 55,000. And there's this, which is cheap, which I could sell these, but it just feels weird to just have this. Um, I think I kind of need it temporarily, but I think I'm going to change it as soon as we can. So. I'm going to set this up just over here for now. I know it's it's not far. It's I don't even have enough money. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, we won't be doing that yet. Okay, let's strap this up. And let's go sell this. You know, I kind of thought I was getting a much more powerful tractor. I'm almost regretting it now. And mind you, I did save some money, so... Uh, we'll, we'll upgrade later. I'll try to make this last. The other one was pretty good. Uh, what can you do? How are you guys doing today? All right, now we need to sell at the store, which is right over to the left there. I don't know if these will just automatically start selling. We'll find out in a second. Yep, they are. Holy smokes. Okay. Um, did not expect that. That is some darn good money. 46, I could actually build that market. It'd be on my property, but I could do it. Or the neighbors, there are none. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it was on my property. It'd be my business, I guess. It seems weird to sell to my own business. I guess from an accounting perspective, that's an actual thing and it works and a lot of people do it. I can't wait to see what the summers are like around here. This manual transmission doesn't shift by itself. It's stuck between second and third. I have to manually, manually shift it. I guess that's why it's called a manual, but usually, even though it's a manual transmission, the computer kind of still does it for you. Okay, so I'm going to load up another, another trailer full of wood, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, we got a bunch more pallets of planks. Uh, that should give us enough money. I think we're going to maybe set up a market right there. Eventually, we're going to put a road through here. So we're going to extend the town road right up. Okay. So, um, I kind of feel like this tractor is not going to last us very long. 
Let's go build up our market. And then we'll get something a little bit more. I want to say modern, I guess. Um, it's probably a very strong workhorse. A lot of torque, but it does struggle. I cannot do third gear going up here. I can only get the second gear up here. And even then it's it's marginal. And it only has 16 hours on it. And not, you know, could use a little bit of repairs. Maybe that'll help. Maybe we'll try that. I do kind of like this thing though. Pretty sexy. That trailer on the other hand. It's good for pulling ATVs. It's dragging on the ground. See how low it is? <laughs> it's funny, it attached with a tow bar. That's interesting. That might be part of my problem. Alright, let's set up our market. I initially didn't want to set up anything over there, but... We need it. I can't think of a better place to put it, I guess. Um, so right here, we'll be able to sell a lot of stuff here. I think I'm just going to sneak it somehow in there. Maybe a little bit more like that. I don't know. What do you think? I think I want it there. Yeah, let's do it. How's this laid out? I have a feeling I might have created a problem back here. No, it's okay. It's all good. We don't access this anyway. Silver Run Market. I guess we'll put a parking lot over here. I guess I should have turned it the other way. Oh well, what can you do? Okay, so we have a market and we have somewhere to sell all our products. So now we're gonna go pick some of that up. And then we're gonna try to afford another trailer. We can probably afford one already. I feel like we're gonna not we're not gonna have any problems generating money on this on this series. Okay, let's go get our forklift. This is I know these things are pretty good money. Oh, I'm not sure if they're the same prices as on Silver Run, but we'll see. We're going to cut right through here. Actually, I should have gone from the outside, shouldn't I? Hmm. gonna fit or not I think we're gonna have to sell this just by itself and we'll come back grab those other pallets this is actually turning out to be a bit of a long episode but I'm digging it I'm digging the progress and there's not much room for, for anything else on here Okay. 
I mean, I could probably fit something else on there, but... Alright, let's go see what we get for this. I think these things are really good money. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I was worried about ruining the view by developing out here, but realistically... There we go. Yeah, selling. That's 14000 for that alone. Okay. But I'm starting to think that maybe this is just going to be our yard. Um, we may build a home somewhere nice. Somewhere... I'm not sure. Maybe up on a hill somewhere. Hillside. Hilltop. We'll see. We obviously want a, a nicer home in the future. This is just a very basic log cabin. Not that there's anything wrong with basic log cabins, but I would like a nice, comfortable home. And since we are carpenters, we can make it happen. Okay. Let me get the rest of this loaded up. And we'll sell that, and then we're going to call it an episode. Alright, we are done. I guess maybe we can leave this guy right here somewhere. I might get trapped if I do this. Do it this way. That way he's under shelter. Yeah, let's go sell this. There we go. Alright, what are we getting for this? Another 26,000. We actually have enough money to buy one more piece of property, but we're not going to do that. We've got some other stuff we need to focus on first. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. It's been mostly a selling and buying episode. Haven't really done much work work, I guess. Our, whoa, our property is starting to develop very quickly. I like it. I like when things move. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look at this. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting excited. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it. Episode eight. Um, hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, please consider subscribing and, uh, yeah. I hope you have a great day.